how did you get such an intimate portrait of these characters within the police force in Mexico City or in Mexico, sorry? <laughs> um, well, it was a, a long process of, um, of looking for the right characters. You know, once we decided to make a movie about the police force, um, we, we had some key advisors who helped us along the way and they um, suggested people. We, we interviewed lots of policemen before arriving to Teresa and Montoya. And, and um, one of our advisors had worked with them in, in, in a program, in a pilot program uh, to reform the police. Um, and he'd met Teresa and he said, uh, you have to, you have to meet her. She's, she's, she has great stories and she wants to tell them. She wants to, she's looking to share them. And so we met Teresa and it was love at first sight. You know, when, when I realized that there was a love story, uh, in involved in the idea of making a love story in the middle of this very, um, very harsh, police world that they live in was very attractive, was instantly uh, cinematic to me. Um, and and the, way, the way we achieved that, the, that was um, trust and time, you know, it takes time to, to know, to get to know your, your characters when you, when it's a documentary. Um, and, and it, yeah, it's a, it's a matter of building trust. Was there any, at any level, it, it, there were parts that were scripted or not? Some, um, some of them, right? Well, the, 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 what we did was, we, we, the process was we recorded first the interviews with Teresa Montoya. We recorded long, long interviews. And then I went away and I wrote a script based on that, but always using their real voices, like always using their words. And so the scenes sprang off of, of, of that, of, of their stories. How, how important is it for you to have your documentary on Netflix, which is one of the biggest streaming platforms in the world? Well, I think- Why do you think the documentary is where it is? Where it is? Um, I think it's, it's um, I mean, why do I, what, why do I think they, Netflix picked it? Is that your question? Yeah. Um, I don't know. You'd have to ask Netflix that. Um, I think, I think, you know, it's, it's, it's a, a movie that is attractive formally, but also thematically. I think it's, it's, it's a challenging movie. Um, so I think, and I think they picked it because it's a fucking good movie. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's because uh, it's uh, the uniqueness of the story. Yeah. And the depth of the intimacy, intimacy that, that you accomplish, I think it's really great. And also, there are not many films in which we see uh, people on a, such a candid, candid way opening, a, opening about their lives, their sexual life, their love, their relationships. So yeah. no, I know that I should ask that to Netflix, but I wanted you to comment a little, give you this, this input. So uh, when it comes, why did you want to bring this into the to the screen of any of uh, all other aspects of Mexican culture that could be interest interesting to the world? Um, I mean, honestly, this film was first and foremost and still is um, aimed at Mexico in that, I mean, not to rule our interest in sharing this with the rest of the world. That's a, that's a wonderful thing that we get to do this, but, the, but this film was thought of as a conversation starter for, some, for a big crisis that is going on in Mexico right now um, that has to do with corruption and impunity and and the way that we have turned back on the institutions that we have created um, and so the the neglect that that they live in that is part of the ongoing social disparity and so 
that that's the movie that we needed to make um and but and then i think it's great that we get to share it with the rest of the world that we get to share some of mexico's uh, 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 maybe a not flattering part of mexico but still i think there there is a lot of light in in the movie that i think is what what people in outside mexico respond to as well that you know the the spirit of of shedding a light in something that is very that is broken you know and seeing the people behind the uniform i think is something that is 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 um what is attractive in 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 other parts of the world as well because there is there isn't i i think like one thing that we've seen screening the movie abroad is that one thing that we do have in common is that there there is a huge mistrust between the police forces of different of every country and the citizens they're meant to protect there's a huge gap you know there's the, uh we don't know who they are they don't know who we are and so this movie is just a, a an, an invitation to take a moment and look them in the eye and get to know who is behind the uniform what about like, the logistics of shooting this film how long did it take you because i mean you have so much material and so many situations and yeah it, oof, seems like a, a long project yeah it it was a very long project it was and it and it had different parts you know there was first the 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 interviews then there was the actors going into the academy for for several months and then there was the the sort of uh, uh fiction part of the shoot you know where we shot the actors doing the lip sync so yeah it was it was very long it, it took us i mean the whole journey from this movie from when we started doing the research to when we finished the cut was like four years and a lot of coming and going and waiting and you know the final thing we shot was uh, a real the, the when the in the first the opening scene when the woman is giving birth that shot of the baby coming out of her mother's womb is a is is a real shot it's not a dummy or it's not you know and we shot that uh with a we shot a real birth so we had to wait we we met a woman who was willing to to let us record her birth for this movie and but she was six months pregnant so we had to wait three months and we monitored her all the time we're like how's it going how's you know and and uh, and then when the baby was coming it was like okay it's gonna happen this week get ready so we had like our camera equipment there ready to shoot and and yeah it was crazy but it was a beautiful experiment this so uh, alonso why did you choose filmmaking as a way of expressing yourself um Oof, that's, <laughs> I mean, I like stories. I've always been drawn to stories. And I think filmmaking was something I I knew I was going to do from when I was a kid. It was, it's just uh, a very privileged way of, of traveling. You know, it's a, it's a very unique way of going to other places. Um, yeah, I think it, it chose me.